Good morning to all of you, and there are a lot of you out there. University is rarely an easy choice for non-traditional students, and obstacles get bigger every year, but we did it. First, for those of you out there whose obstacle was raising children, hats off to you. You have my utmost respect. For me, I didn't have to worry about kids, but there were two main things that I felt would be barriers to me returning to school. First, like many of you, I work full time, currently as a director of nursing for a facility in Ogden, Utah. This meant I needed a way to do some of my schooling at night with major cram sessions on the weekends, something that's just not possible at most universities. Second, I really like to travel. I'm not talking about let's go to Vegas for the weekend. I'm talking more of a let's bust out the passports and go to Kenya. I've heard it's nice this time of year. Having just returned two weeks ago, I will tell you, it is very nice this time of year. Throughout my personal and professional life, I've been fortunate enough to travel quite extensively. Some of these experiences have included living and working abroad in Guatemala, Honduras, China, India, and Nepal, much of which was spent training indigenous health workers in rural regions of developing nations. Other travel opportunities were for the sake of exploration and fun, falling into the why not category of life decisions. But both varieties are something that I enjoy immensely, and I had no intention of giving up. So when I was searching for possible nursing grad school options, I ran across the WGU website and it said, they're flexible, adaptable, and a perfect fit for personal and professional growth. I was a little skeptical, but I figured, why not? Much to my surprise and delight, those words weren't just a gimmick on a web page. They really meant it. The flexibility at Western Governors allowed me to do it all. I had the ability to cram at times and disappear into the world of adventure at others. I finished my application while on a trip in Eastern Africa, and I worked on assignments in what felt like never-ending papers from North America, South America, Europe, the Middle East, and Antarctica. I was even able to visit my 100th country last year while coding data and doing statistical analysis of findings from a capstone. <laughs> yeah, not the way to see it. Whether typing papers from a hotel room overlooking Palestine, cursing APA formatting of reference pages from various Mediterranean islands, or reading research articles while playful penguins skidded past outside, I was able to progress through my bachelor's and my master's degrees with relative ease in a combined 18 months. Not only that, but the whole thing cost me less than $10,000 which for me is more money for travel. <laughs> Once I got rolling, my true inner nerd came out. I almost hate to admit it publicly, particularly in front of 4,000 people, but I found myself really enjoying academia. Since I've completed my coursework in February, I've gone on and gotten a postgraduate certificate as a certified nurse educator. I've submitted portions of my capstone for publication in scholarly journals. I've been accepted to the Johns Hopkins University Department of International Health as a postgraduate certificate candidate for global health, and I've begun preparing my path towards someday, relatively soon, doing a PhD in the same field. This blossoming of the academic me solidified my decision to switch gears within my own profession. And I am pleased to say that in just a few short weeks, I will start my first day of the fall semester from the other side of the classroom. I'm thrilled to have just accepted a full-time position as assistant professor of nursing for Weber State University. Yay, Weber, Wildcats. Okay. Thank you. Each of us has our own story, and today is one of those many happy endings that we'll tell in our futures. If you look around you right now, for one brief moment, right now and right here, regardless of past, present, future, or random life circumstances, we are triumphant. Today is one of those good old days that we'll look back on fondly in years to come. This dream may not have been possible for many of us, myself included, if it weren't for the support of amazing families, loving partners, encouraging friends, very understanding employers, knowledgeable instructors, and of course, all of our patient mentors. Thanks, Jana. So, I would also like to do a quick thanks to the few, the proud, the coffee distributors of Northern Utah for making days on end of sleep deprivation much more palatable. We, the class of 2013, thank each and every one of you here, in person and in spirit, for your role in making it possible for us to say, we came, we saw, 
we conquered and we're just getting started.